Hey guys, welcome back to Absolute Football and we are back with a tactical analysis of the Pirates vs TX Galaxy game. TX Galaxy have become a ball playing side under new coach Said Ramovic. Hence the dominance in possession with 53%. Their shots were just not dangerous enough to get them the goals. Pirates lined up in what looked like a 4-2-3-1 which provides central compactness and gives up the advantage on the wings if the wingers are bypassed. Without the ball, they would also get to a 4-4-2 or 4-4-1-1 formation. TS Galaxy went 4-3-3 in position and out of position, a formation that gives numerical advantages in midfield if the opposition team's number 10 doesn't drop deep to add numbers to the two-man midfield. But before we break it down, I just want to thank each one of you that has subscribed and gotten us over a thousand subscribers. If you're not yet subscribed and enjoy the analysis, do hit the subscribe button. Pirates build up in a three with Nda, Nyauza and Marco. Mponjane is not good on the ball, hence he doesn't play it on the ground often. Marco does this very well when he's got no passing options. He breaks out from defense, carries the ball forward and eliminates 3-4 to four players at the same time. Tears Galaxy meant for man in a mid-defensive block. Little Marco breaks out from the defensive line and has escaped the first line of pressure and looks to eliminate an additional two players. If not Marco, Nda would be the one to carry the ball and push into midfield during progression. He would often look to find Mahaka dropping between the lines. Nda progressing play and looking to find Mahaka between the lines. Another instance of Nda attempting a vertical forward pass into midfield, easily breaking the TS Galaxy lines. Mahaka has been very influ influential behind the striker in recent games. He drops deep between the lines to receive and link up play with either the wingers or Pepra. Mahaka with time and space to pick a pass or play a pass to the winger and look to get a cutback in the box. In this position, when facing goal and running toward the back four, these runs are difficult to pick up and stop. Mahaka gets rewarded with a goal that kills the game for TX Galaxy early in the second half. This was a pressing trigger from TX Galaxy on Pirates. They pushed them towards the touchline in order to initiate the press. The TS Galaxy press is a success as Marco is then dispossessed and now chases. Out of possession, Pirates were in a 4-4-2 or 4-4-1-1 shape without the ball. This shape creates a central compact shape of the two defensive midfielders and the two center backs, making Pirates impenetrable. Another instance of Pirates maintaining their central solid shape, which allows TX Galaxy space on the wide areas. This was TX Galaxy's best attacking weapon with no success centrally. Earlier on, I mentioned that Mponjane is not part of the build-ups from the back for Pirates. But Yu is the opposite. He is very much involved in the TX Galaxy build-ups. Here, he threads one into midfield looking to play through a bit of Pirates pressure. Yo, this man can pass it, eh? Probably a better passer than majority of the league's outfield players. Again, attempting the line-breaking pass. Now out wide, where there's a free man to receive without pressure. 
galaxy can then look to move upfield. Sanoka or Msimango would also look to carry and progress the ball into midfield and bypass the first line of pressure. He can then look to pass it into midfield between the lines or play it out wide. But due to the Pirates' compact shape in midfield, he is forced to pass it wide to Nyama who is forced into midfield. He then picks a more ambitious ball in the box instead of laying it to the player with his hands raised up. Man gives him a voicemail. On a few occasions, they did knock it around to commit the Pirates' midfield. This then leaves gaps between the two Pirates' banks of four. For the players like Brooks to receive between the lines and look to find Lekai or Mgomezul. Pirates here recover, get back into their defensive shape to continue the order of the day, getting TX Galaxy away from penetrating centrally and on to the wings where it's easier to defend the crosses. A win for Pirates after two recent draws. TX Galaxy need to make their position count by creating more goal scoring chances and they'll see better days. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Till next time. Cheers.